Good morning, good morning, and good morning to each and every one of you all. It feels like a Monday to me because I don't think that anyone should have um, so much fun in the middle of the week uh, <laughs> that I had yesterday. As you know, I had an awesome day, full of teasing, lots of fun, just enjoying myself. Uh, hopefully not at your expense, hopefully you were actually enjoying it as well. Uh, yes, we do tease, but we do it with a, a goodness of heart and goodness of mind. All right, I'm just going to put you back down for a second so I can do something with this brolly. Uh, we had some heavy showers this morning. I'm sure you wouldn't mind having a look a little longer at this ocean here. So I'm just going to put you down for a second and I'll get back to you. Just want to move you from under the tree as well so we don't get any splitter splatters. Okay, looks so we're gonna have a brawly day, but don't mind right now we don't have to worry too much about it. It stopped for a few minutes. Um, as you can see, it's slight bit more than uh, clear with cloudy, a few cloudy patches. It's <laughs> definitely a little bit heavier than that, but it's looking like a beautiful day to the east. It's definitely clearing up. You'll see that in a few minutes time. Well, as far up as we can see. Um, this morning, before we start off, there are a couple of things I'd like to um, say. One is, is that we extend our condolences and our love and our care and our prayers to all of those that have lost um, their loved ones recently. Um, to all of those that are anywhere in the world that's been affected by war, especially Ukraine. You know, we're praying for all of you and we have you all in our hearts. So when we say our serenity prayer, we will also be saying peace for them as well. Peace for you at mind, at heart, and also peace from war and any strife in this world. So we're gonna say our serenity prayer now. Hopefully you'll be able to join us this morning. If not, we'll be back with you in a couple of moments. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Good morning again, loved ones. It's great to see you all this morning on here. Quite a few people on at the moment. We have 55 people on board. Good morning to each and every one of you. I had numerous places I tried this morning to do a setup, but signal strength still continues to be a little glitchy on the West Coast. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the West Morning Repeater, but definitely in front of Colony Club. <laughs> signal goes right up into red and all over the place. So we didn't want a chance at this morning. Trying to keep it as clean as possible with as good a signal as possible. So you can enjoy the beauty of today. My apologies, not really, just want to say that's in brackets, not really, uh, for yesterday's teasing. Uh, I know I promised only 10%, but I pre tease you 10% for every location. I tease you way more than 10% overall, but from every location, I tease you 10%. And I'm sure that if you want to see Barbados yesterday and you want to feel warm, and you wanted some hope and something to grasp onto, as in your beautiful place, you come to on Barbados called Paradise. Uh, we gave you that yesterday for sure. A little sample of it anyway. So, good morning to all of you all. And again, my apologies for teasing all yesterday. And in brackets again, not really. <laughs> so, <laughs> good morning to each and everyone. Yesterday I got the reputation of being a big tease. I thought I was going to hear like huge, massive tease. But somebody said big, so I didn't feel so bad really. Not so terrible. Alright, as we cannot go on to Colony Club Beach, um, I still want to show you that area up by Herring Bay and stuff. But as far down as where I saw the signal this morning was good. So we're just going to go down to the corner here and we're going to do a little look from this corner section. For those of you that are not familiar with where we are, we are directly in front of Coral Reef Club. Um, those of you will know that this hotel has been back a long, long time. This is a, one of the original style hotels. Even the, the 
any expansions or anything that has been done have kept within the same look. Big, beautiful galleries, lovely plantation style um, homes. Absolutely beautiful. I just, you, I don't have to tell you all, you all know I like low rise hotels. Big, open, low rise hotels. I do not like multiple story hotels and that's just my preference. Um, you know, so if you like the multiple stories and you like those kind of uh, resorts, well, you know, no problem. I have no problem with that at all. But one thing for sure is um, I do not. I like the smaller, not even smaller, but the lower style hotels. You can really enjoy the scenery around the place without having to look up at a lot of concrete. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Coral Reef Club. I don't know if you remember the days of the fets at the grotto. The early days of the O'Hara's. I remember that very well. The last one that we were coming to down here. Um, was in the 70s and that is when they had the ash fall from St. Vincent. Um, myself, Ashley and Trot were on the way down here and we got stopped in Eagle Hall because we could not see at all how to turn around. That was supposed to be a, a huge fat. And based on the past ones that used to happen here, if you ever experienced them, you would know they were serious things. You know, beautiful, beautiful area. Once again, we're smelling the bacon and the breakfast buffets that are set up for these hotels. Very punishing for a vegan like me, especially when there are smells that I used to adore. Not that I don't adore them anymore, I'm just vegan now, so I still can appreciate the smell of a good cooking piece of pork or something like that. It's not something I'm going to eat, but I can still appreciate what it was like. All right, we're not going any further because beyond here, we start to dip in and signal. Hopefully, it's not done so already. Okay, let's talk a little bit more here. The first set of beach chairs, you're seeing these green umbrellas. These belong to the Coral Reef Club. Um, it's spot, as you can see, it's, it's a huge hotel, very big footprint. Beautiful restaurant here. When these, uh, when these torches are lit on night, you can imagine how beautiful the scenery must be from down here. Absolutely spectacular scenery. All right, now just we're gonna go back around slowly because I don't wanna spin this around and get ourselves dizzy this morning. It's too early in uh, Thursday morning for that. All right, just beyond there, you'll see uh, it used to be all white umbrellas. I'm sure you remember that multi multiple tier umbrellas. They're now the, looking more like a sand color umbrella and that belongs to the Colony Club Hotel. Colony Club Hotel, uh, again, another very, very popular hotel. All of their ground rooms have um, little dipping pools in front of the room and you can actually swim your way down a waterway to their bar at the main pool. Absolutely beautiful as well. Beyond that is what, I, uh, what is known as Heron Bay. Um, Heron Bay is my, or is my favorite West Coast beach. And that is the extreme end by where you're seeing they're carrying out some uh, lane of a groin on the outside section. We had done that from the other day, from the other way the other day from Aline Bay, where we swam a little lagoon. Um, the rocks in between the land itself and the outer darker stones will be moved. That's just the road that carries the heavy equipment out there to move around the rocks itself. But my favorite spot, now this will tell you um, how genuine I am to explain to you all the beauty of Barbados and offer you some of the most beautiful spots. You know, a lot of people um, have been upset that I've been exposing secret areas. Um, there's no secret area in Barbados. As far as I'm concerned, as far as the EMC is concerned, we're gonna show you everything because when you come to Barbados, you deserve your right to know all the spots and enjoy all the beauty because that's what you come here to do. So it is our mission to show you all the beauty in Barbados and to show you how fair I am I'm telling you where my favorite beach is and the reason I go to that beach is because it's usually very quiet, no watercraft comes in because there's a low reef there and you can just hang out there if you dare, maybe see one or two people walking by you and it's usually very, very quiet and peaceful and there the last set of little white bits of sand you're seeing up there under those casuarina trees. So there you go, that is my secret spot I'm exposing just to show you that I am genuine when I say I'm going to show you the absolute best of Barbados and why would I not? Because that is what we're about. We're about sharing, sharing the beauty of Barbados through my eyes. So anywhere that's beautiful, I'm going to share with you whether someone thinks it's a secret spot or not. Irrelevant. So here we go again. All right, from here, I'm going to do another little 360 for you. We're going to reverse the direction this time to make sure we unwind our brains so we don't fall down in a few minutes time. As you can see, their guests begin to come out now. The rain has eased off a little bit. It's a beautiful day. No reflections yet, but you are seeing some glare. It's absolutely beautiful. Here we go.
to all of those that have stumbled on us or have found us for the first time or that are coming on and for the first time um, if you notice you can't comment it's because you're not in our friends list so please send a friend request for us we will send you a map and some information on what the EMC is about very brief though it's not a big long written stuff or something um, but we could do that but we can we just are very brief so you can come on board and you can actually see what we're all about by yourself but we just want to give you a little bit of a jump start to enjoy this kind of beauty lovely lovely area now this boardwalk has been laid on the western side here um, for quite a few it's been here for a few years now very used um, for exercising etc and also for walking these areas here because uh, no sand was here whatsoever before this was put and they actually had to put boulders on the outside to protect it and then they put this lovely boardwalk which continues uh, up to Discovery Bay and then you walk across Discovery Bay Beach well up to Settlers actually and then you walk up um, the beach section until you get a whole town where you rejoin the boardwalk again and that takes you right around almost um, to Sandy Lane area we've done quite a few of those already too so we'll do them again in the future as you know we have to redo things because we've done all of Barbados or pretty much not all of it but pretty much all of it I would say of the entire overall Barbados maybe 75% um, some areas are just not um, conducive to our 6 a.m. starts um, but we are working on them bit by bit to bring you something new this is a beautiful beautiful protected marine park all this area is actually protected right up to Sandy Lane I'm not sure where the boundaries are on the Sandy Lane side or on the Coral Reef side I know we do have one of our family members on here that work very closely with the NCC and the beaches and the uh, marine division and I'm sure they can always um, indicate where those boundary marks are but this is um, known as Fort Stone Park Fort Stone Park have all the facilities here some people call it Church Point um, it's the actual break that's off of here where you're seeing some waves breaking this is Church Point so if you've ever heard of it this is the general location here it breaks right in the marine park itself when it is big it breaks way out almost close out to those buoys way out in the distance when we get a big north swell down here you would be just blown away at the power that comes in on the west coast side as well and CC facilities down here have Wi-Fi so if you want to come down here and sit down for the day they have showers they have numerous bars and restaurants and chair rentals etc all these little beaches here have formed um, since they dropped these groins and protective areas uh, originally there was a big beach here I'm talking about back in the 90s 80s and 90s there was a big beach here However, we all know what goes on. Um, sand moves all around the place and uh, move from here. And they have constructed this, which has captured some beautiful sand. Lovely little sandy coves. There's also a museum here as well too. If you would like to find out a little bit more about the marine side of Barbados, you can come and have a look at their museum. That's just over there. They like said there's a big restaurant, there's small bars, there's showers. Uh, washroom facilities everything you could possibly want here there's another one of the NCC hot pots or hot points I would say no a lot of the trees down here and this actual forest area or this area that we're seeing right now overhead are mahogany um, however there are a couple of manchineal trees as well um, that are in with them so please be careful when you're out here you will see signs all over saying no fishing as I said before it is a protected marine marine park and therefore you're not permitted to fish in this area at all beautiful colors I mean when I'm turning around in here and I look at the blues and the greens and everything else how tropical I mean absolutely beautiful now I'm not sure how this has been recently because obviously with the COVID it has impacted uh, all the socializing and big events however uh, in years gone by when there were any bank holidays uh, you would find this entire park filled with people with picnic baskets there's a children's park over there there's some tennis courts as well there's a play park it's absolutely lovely here everything you could possibly want um, to have a good day with the family and an outing shade as well and as we have explained about all of the conveniences another little the catchments here um, sand catchments it has really done uh, they've really enhanced this area a lot especially with the boardwalk you know you could not walk around these points here like in front of us recently before they laid not recently before the latest boardwalk so a few years back all of the sand had gone so it is a real beautification and a real a lot of thought went into the construction of this area and the lane of these these catchment areas which as you can see have worked wonders there was no sand here a little while back 
church point. Just talk about a little bit more about that for you. It is a right brake. Uh, for those that are interested, we're pretty much looking directly out into where the brake would be um, in the center of the screen right now. And as I said, it's a right brake. Now remember, out here is very shallow, so you don't want to be messing around out here at low tide. And if you do come out here at low tide, um, be, be cautious of the coral heads that you're going to find out here because it does get rather shallow. It is on an active reef. Um, so, you know, just be careful when you're out here. It's a very short ride, but it's a very steep and hollow drop. So it's a lot of fun. A lot of people like Church Point for sure. And when I say short, I don't mean like 10 feet. I just mean short as in comparison to a lot of the West Coast breaks, which are longer. We're looking into what we call Discovery Bay. This is its whole town, whole town beyond that itself. Um, but this is what was known as Discovery Bay, named after the hotel that was located here that is presently um, being downed and they're reconstructing again, just over in the distance you'll see all the protective palings, etc. Um, between here and there we have uh, the church, which is the St. James Parish Church. This is just over to our left behind these uh, buildings here. These are the Church Point Villas. So you can always check out on these if you would like. I'll uh, just give you a quick sign here so you can have a look. We like to do this here whenever we're passing the area. So you can always know where to call or what to do if you would like. We want to give everyone the opportunity um, to get their information out there while we're walking by. Not only because it gives them a chance to make some business, but it also gives you the opportunity to know what numbers to call without having to waste time. You know, your vacations and your um, trip here to Barbados, time is always too short. Even if it's four months, people say, look, I just haven't had enough of it because you just can never get enough of Barbados. I live here and I can't get enough of Barbados. So that will give you an indication of how amazing this place is. All right, we also know us, a couple of us locals will refer to here as Stiletto Bay because from the time they had two stilettos or a stiletto in Barbados, which is the catamarans, they had a much smaller one. I don't know, maybe in about, about 20, 28 feet long or somewhere around there. Originally, there were two brothers that run them, uh, Graham and Rabbit. They run them from off of here, but this is the one that Rabbit always runs. And this is what we call the stiletto bay because from the time I know there was a, a catamaran here called Stiletto from the time I remember. That will tell you how long ago. Obviously, they've gone up in size for sure. A much better, much better catamarans. Again, beautiful sand has been captured here. There was no sand on this point before either. There were small slithers of beach. There was no actual um, big beach area. Just little small strips of sand. Beautiful down here this morning. Oh my goodness. The colors of the... Bougainvillea and these hedges and stuff, just beautiful. All right, we're gonna go right now on the beach now because we are done with that boardwalk for a few minutes time because we are going for a swim today. I decided that after we had failed yesterday to get you in the water, that today I was gonna come to a place that I know for sure that we will be able to go and see unless there's a north swell and there is no north swell today. So we're going to have a chance when you see this morning, there's a little surge, but nothing really heavy. I'm just going to put down our backpack stuff here. And we're going to make a little move down onto the beach and have a little swim. I hope no, cra no crabs crawl in my umbrella when it's on the beach, but don't mind. I am known as the Bajan warrior. I can fight a crab. <laughs> not a problem. Is this not just beautiful? Think of something tropical. Have a look at the screen and bring yourself to Barbados because this is stunning. All right, the drop off, I'm gonna show you because it's very clear this morning. It is ripple, so you can see there's a, quite a bit of sand movement um, because of the, of the waters that are coming in, the surges that are going on. Um, we are coming into high tide now, or it's almost full tide, full tide now. So it's gonna be a little surgy. We saw that yesterday when we were out. It was definitely very surgy yesterday. Oh my gosh, this feels like heaven this morning. I haven't been in the sea with you all for a long time. I think it was like the 27th, 28th of last month. So way overdue, but don't mind. I, I promise you I'll bring you out and I've done, I've stood up to that promise. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take you all in our first C360 skim, EMC style. Here we go. Let me just get adjusted a little better here for you. Uh, let me get my mouth, uh, ah, la, 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 la. energy gone. Here we go.
I know that it may not be the true heaven, but let me tell you, it's heaven on earth. And I, I am telling you that from my heart anyhow. That's how I feel when I'm anywhere on this island. Heaven on earth. Beautiful day. Absolutely stunner. 75 people on board this morning right now. We're going to have some big attendance records later on to deal with. Happy about that. It's nice to have as many people as possible. Uh, again, if you're a new person that's on here, you know, finding us. If you're a new member, um, if this is the first time that, you know, you, you have been our friends for a long time, but the first time you've come on and joined us in live, good morning to you and welcome. This is what we call the EMC gathering. We're going to bring you a mixture of peace, love and happiness. Yesterday when I gave out our March Madness cards, I was telling everyone, um, I tried to keep the briefings very, very light, not to get into too many details because I was handing them out like crazy yesterday. So I'm just telling everyone, if you want to be smothered in love, kindness, care, compassion, humanity, just everything positive, join us on a morning. That's all I was saying yesterday and everyone's face lit up. First of all, they thought I was a salesman because you know when I start to approach with a QR but he says, oh boy, here comes another vendor. Um, but I quickly stopped that by telling him I'm not a vendor. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then I gave them a spiel about the happiness and peace and love and kindness and stuff. And automatically they realized it was something different, especially when he said, and it's all free to you. Just come and join us, bring your love and happiness and share it with us as well. And let's make it even a better world than possible. So they were all happy to see that. But I have found recently that what works really, really well is to put a wad of money behind the cards in the plastic bag. So when I take it out, the first thing is I think I'm going to be giving them money for something. That's number one. So that, that sort of like, you know, in a way, sort of like settles them to get excited. Then they start to think when they start pulling out the card that, hold on a sec though, this guy at least has money. He's not coming for money. And then I'm able to give them the card. So that is my new ploy to put a wad of money, even if it's just one bill with a lot of newspaper torn up and stuff in it and all folded neatly and looking really healthy. And that usually gets people to calm down and relax. Now, I'm not a trickster. I am just a person that wants to get the message over in any form or fashion. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a teaser either, so there you go. And I stand by both of those things. No, it's, it's just, just beautiful. You know, you have to relieve people because I can appreciate how people must feel when they see someone approach them with a card in their hand. You know, I, I've been in that position and you know, you just, you just want to relax there and someone's coming to annoy you. Yes, I annoy them, but it's not a problem because I'm annoying them with something that they can have that they don't have right now. And that's somewhere to come every morning for daybreak with some lovely, kind people and spend their morning and share peace and happiness and joy. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but this EMC has healed me beyond words. You know, at the, just everyone has been in it. You know, the whole idea of it, um, you know, being God's, a God's given journey, a path that I'm being led on by Him, and then to have hundreds of people, hopefully one of these days, thousands of people join us uh, on these walks and enjoy it as well with us. You know, that is what the dream is. The dream is to just get as many people as possible out here enjoying this beauty with us and starting their day with peace and serenity. Something that's very, very difficult to find nowadays, especially first thing in the morning when you open your eyes. Don't turn on your news. You come and watch EMC. And then if you choose to watch the news after, you can do that. But I would recommend you start off your foundation with peace because there's nothing peaceful on the news to find. So start the right way. Here we go again. Stunning ocean. Cannot stay out of it this morning. This is our, I'll, I'll leave my count up to my uh, Miss Care. Let her take care of the count for me. But here we go. I'm going to take care of the beauty and I'm going to take care of a real slow 360 spin in this gorgeous ocean. Here we go.
It is such a joy to be reading these comments that I'm watching coming up here now. I mean, I'll tell you, I, I don't know anywhere else that I can see love and kindness and care for our fellow human as I'm seeing right here this morning. Just beautiful. And that goes with the scenery. Gorgeous scenery, amazing family. Absolutely fantastic. You will notice all of the area where Discovery Bay was has been pulled down. Um, they now have up all of the building materials on the outside to protect any um, one that's passing there and also to keep it out of view while they're working on it. And right next to that, you will see what is known as Mango Bay. Um, to this side here, to our left, um, is first of all is Sam Piper, which is that expanse there with the blue umbrellas. And then directly behind here is Settlers Beach Hotel. Just a beautiful, beautiful coastline. These are some of the older hotels in Barbados. These have been around for a long time. You can see that because they're not the high rise hotel that you would have found from the more modern constructions. They're all much lower, just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Anyhow, to each and every one of you, I thank you for joining me again this morning. Um, we're going to keep these a little bit on the trim side. We keep the longer ones for when we actually are walking from point A to point B where we need to do the entire trip. Um, but we're going to keep these around this kind of time, 40 minutes or so. I hope you're enjoying your morning with us. Uh, I have not seen if my angel's name popped up, but I'm still going to pay her my respects and my love as I always do. Good morning, my angel. I love you dearly. Uh, to each and every one of you that are on here, regardless of whether you're EMC family, regardless of whether you're Facebook friends, as long as you're watching this this morning, I'm sending my love to you all and I'm sending the peace and the beauty from Barbados directly to you wherever you are. If you have been here before, I'm asking that when you watch these vlogs that you try and bring those memories into play so that you will be able to really feel what we're experiencing until you get here. And when you get here, remember, this Beijing warrior wants to meet each and every one of you where possible. It's very difficult for me to go from beach to beach to beach to beach. So the meeting point is the EMC Festive Beachfront Lounge on Sundays. If you don't know where that is, have a look at some of our vlogs or ask one of our family. They will tell you where that is. So if we don't see each other before then and you are on the island, please make your way to the best beach in the world where you will find that festive location. And I will see you all on Sunday. So we just go wrong again, give you some more view rather than me end the day with a really nice view and I'm going to give you all a photo op at the end to say goodbye to everyone but as we're making our way around there just remember what the journey of positivity means it means not just being positive for yourself but spreading the positive vibe spreading the peace spreading the love as far and wide as you can because you will definitely generate a lot of love and care and kindness back in your direction when you do that you know, you give it all and you will receive it. That is what we are told. So you just give it to everyone. Give your love to everyone. Give your care to everyone. Walk through today remembering that tomorrow it may be you that's struggling. It may be you that's having it difficult. It is you that may need a friend or may just need someone to sit there and listen to you. Because that is what we have to do in this life. That is why God put us here to work together, to get through this together. That is why he says, love your neighbor as you would love yourself. Have a great day from the care team, from those handsome, devious munchkins, from myself and from all the EMC family to everyone that's on here. We wish you a beautiful day. Blessings to you all. Love you all. And if God spares life, we shall gather again tomorrow morning to welcome in the dawning of a new day. Stay safe, stay peaceful, and love everyone. Have a great day, everyone.